ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir. My name is Redwan Laj and I work for the Algerian Embassy in Ottawa. So after listening to the national anthem for both countries, I would invite Ambassador Hussein Mughar to take the floor. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the national anthem of Canada, followed by the national anthem of Algeria. Thank you. Now I call on the ambassador to take the floor. Good evening. To begin with, uh, I would like to recognize the presence here with us of Senator Marcel Prudhomme, whom I had the privilege to meet 40 years ago. I would like also to uh, acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Joseph Day, and other officials from the Canadian government and institutions. High commissioners, ambassadors, members of the Algerian diaspora, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank all of you for joining us this evening to celebrate the Algerian National Day. 1st of November is a special date for my country and a landmark in its history. It commemorates the beginning of seven years of a long and successful struggle for independence and the recovering of the national sovereignty after 130 years of colonial domination. Since independence in 1962, Algeria has embarked on a process aimed at building a modern state, solid institutions, and creating conducive conditions for economic and social development. In the last 20 years, Algeria has conducted political reforms that led to multi-party system 
democracy, freedom of the press, and the shoring up of the rule of law. The drive is meant to promote modernity and make sure it combines perfectly with other values in the society and serves as a catalyst for the development and prosperity of all. Mesdames et Messieurs, mon pays a la chance unique et rare d'appartenir simultanément à trois grandes civilisations qui ont forgé son identité et façonné son destin. Se situant à la confluence des espaces arabes, africains et méditerranéens, il est aujourd'hui un acteur important qui œuvre avec foi et détermination à la promotion de la paix, de la sécurité et de la coopération dans ces régions. In that context, my country has been strongly committed in conducting mediations to promote peace and stability in the region it belongs to. Algeria has undertaken a historical mediation in Mali that resulted in the signing of a peace agreement by all the parties involved in the crisis. Algeria is also conducting, contributing to uh, the peace process in Libya so that this neighbor and brotherly country can achieve peace and stability through the formation of a national unity government and can fully enter in a phase of reconciliation and construction of democratic and strong institutions. L'Algérie, qui a souffert dans les années 80 des affres de terrorisme et qui a réussi à le défaire seul, considère que ce phénomène de terrorisme international est un défi international, transnational, qui requiert une réponse collective et efficace de la communauté internationale tout entière. Today, more than ever before, the world is in need for more mobilization, larger commitments, and stronger cooperation to defeat international terrorism and stop its expansion. My country is sharing with many partners in the region and outside the region the experience and the expertise it gained on the global war on terror. Ladies and gentlemen, as far as, as, far as Algeria Canada relations are concerned, I am proud to say that they are excellent. We are taken proud for that. The first political consultation will be held soon in Algiers. On foreign matters, both countries are sharing a common sense of responsibility to foster peace and stability everywhere, to encourage cooperation and partnership for a better governance in the world affairs. In the field of cooperation, there is a strong momentum to enhance bilateral economic relations by exploring new avenues for more investment and partnership on a win-win basis. Les possibilités d'affaires sont énormes en Algérie, d'autant que son économie figure parmi les plus importantes en Afrique et dans le monde arabe et que ses atouts intrinsèques sont énormes et attrayants. Doing business is made easier through new regulations and measures to facilitate partnerships with private and public sectors entrepreneurs. There are a lot of new and tremendous opportunities to grab for the Canadian business community. Their members are the most welcome in sectors such as the extractive industries, industry development, infrastructures, housing, dams constructions, farming, telecom, engineering, management, and so on. Algeria is also sharing with Canada a strong human dim dimension. I am referring to the more than 100,000 dual citizens from Algeria who settled down in this beautiful country. They are a driving force, and, uh, and uh, I would like to commend them for their achievement and commitment for both countries. I close my remarks by thanking you for your kind attention. And uh, I have, you know, with uh, the emotion, the fatigue, you know, I have to, I, I forget to mention the presence among ourselves of Senator Anne Cole.
that we appreciate highly the presence. Thank you, and all the best to you all. I would like to raise now my drink glass for, for you know what? So, yeah, anyway, and all the best to you, and thank you, and enjoy the food and good wine. Thank you.